The iPhone 6 may include a Sapphire display as production begins next month. The Samsung Galaxy S5 could include a fingerprint scanner after all. And Microsoft may just be one week away from naming a new CEO. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if I'm filming this video from Redmond next week, you'll understand why that is. This is Pocket Now Daily. This was a day off with some official news as Facebook has just announced a new client called Paper for the iPhone. Um, it's currently just for iOS. There is no information on Android or Windows phone just yet and it should be available on February 3rd. And what's cool about this application is that even though it looks a lot like Flipboard, it actually is much smarter. You can classify your content, meaning you have different panes for your friends, for your news, in a way that you won't get everything vomited on the same timeline, especially for those Candy Crush updates as well. No, this is actually smarter. You get every things separate and aside from that it also detects stuff like your gyroscope for example so you can pan from side to side on a photograph without having to touch the photo with your fingers which is really cool again february 3rd is when the application is available and let's see when all the platforms get it now let's talk about Google as the company's quarter results are out and those of you wondering why did they sell Motorola to Lenovo, well, these quarter results shed some light. The company had lost $384 million in just one quarter, which is double the losses compared to last quarter, which is quite significant. Obviously it was a big cash cow, but on the positive news, for those of you worried about the Nexus lineup dying anytime soon, well, we've got reports that the colored versions of the Nexus 5 should be available on February 4th, so that could happen a lot later. Now let's talk about Samsung. His famous tipster Evleaks has just detected that the Galaxy S5 includes this file that says that it'll include a fingerprint scanner, which is really interesting. It's actually the first leak about this that's actually quite close to accurate, as we have assumed this, but obviously only because the iPhone 5S has a fingerprint scanner. Another leak also says that there will be 3D gestures on this phone, and I wish somebody could please explain to me what this is in the comments down below. But yeah, that's apparently coming also. Now let's talk about Microsoft as it's been five months since the company has announced that they are looking for a new CEO and even though I'm still waiting for their phone call, it seems that the company has already made a decision. I'm still waiting for the call. And as it turns out, apparently the company is planning to announce their new CEO next week, which is really important as a lot of people are already worried about Microsoft's future with so much that they've taken for this. And even though that it does seem that the CEO will come from within, Big rumors have it that it will not be Steven Elop, so stay tuned for that. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we heard the news from Tim Cook himself saying that they had bought this manufacturing facility in Mesa, Arizona to build Sapphire Glass, and the rumors are that this is actually for the iPhone 6. Rumors also have it that the plant will begin production next month and that Foxconn has already built 100 prototypes of the next generation iPhone to finish assembly at this plant with the sapphire glass. Though some of us are believing that this is just a screen protector, others are actually believing that this will be the glass that will cover the display. It's really hard to know right now because there are just tons of rumors, but yeah, the manufacturing facility starts working next month. That's actually confirmed and 100 prototypes of the next generation iPhone do mean that we we will probably have a phone by mid-year, so that leads me to the question of the day. Uh, would a sapphire display on the next generation iPhone make you an iPhone believer? Would that make you buy an iPhone because it will obviously make it more durable? This is only less durable than diamonds. In my particular case, honestly, I would still buy an iPhone anyways, but yeah, a sapphire display would make a big difference, especially if they keep the price. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.